Hey guys, no gamer eight over here. Bringing you a discussion about the Xbox Series X. Remember, I made a video uh, that I released uh, today about the Xbox running hot. Well, that is a lie that uh, journalists say, like like they're trying to warn people, like they say. Uh, the Xbox is ready yet, and like me, uh, it's just stupid, just to tell you that, but I think the Xbox Series X will run properly, but they're, but if you don't have like, like an AC or anything, that could probably be the problem, but the Xbox is going to run fine, the Series X is going to run fine. It's going to be a 12 flare flops console, so what do you expect? Like, I just don't get it why the people are that way with the journalists, that they just make it a claim about the seat issue, but it's not really an issue. Is, 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 is that stupid? I just want to laugh at them. I just don't just don't get it. But I think the Xbox Series X will run properly just the way the Xbox is going to be. Because it's going to be a very fast console compared to what PlayStation is. PlayStation is going to be a very fast console. It is going to be fast. But if you're just going to make a joke that the Xbox Series X has a heat problem, then, and then you say it, and and then people debunk it. Like people are gonna get an Xbox Series X no matter what. But doing the same thing, just just these these are just journalists. These are just journalists doing their own job, doing their good job. They're they're doing great. But just make. A false claim about the Xbox Series X with the heat. I just don't get it. I just think people don't understand what, how these consoles work. Like, you have the GPU, you have the SSD, and you have all these other things that computers used to have, but consoles are way different than that. The, the, that's just how the Xbox Series X is going to be. It's gonna be hot. It could be hot on the top, but not on the bottom. It could get hot on the bottom. Because it's just supposed to cool the console. The fan is just supposed to be the, the, the big main thing that's supposed to cool down the Xbox for overheating. And it's gonna push out the heat. It's gonna get hot. It happens. This is how the Xbox is going to run. It's, it's, there's no cooling system, there's nothing. It's just going to put, that's just how it's going to be. It's going to push out the heat out of the consoles. That's just how it's going to help. It's only how it's going to help run these consoles and these games to Xbox. So, I just don't get it. I just don't get it at all. But if you just totally believe in me that I am an Xbox guy, I've always have been. I've always had an Xbox One since 2015, but seeing these new next-gen consoles, they look great. The Xbox Series X looks great. It looks better than my Xbox One that I have right, right, right near my, uh, how would I call it, like a, I wouldn't call it a desk, kind of like a, I don't know, probably, probably just a never shelf area, but it fits fine just on my Xbox One, but I think the Series X, just by looking at it, it it's going to fit just fine, it'll, it'll look just like a, like a collection. Yes, I will keep my Xbox One, I'll keep it as like a collection, but I'm not going to like use it, because I'm going to have a Series X. Xbox Series X is going to be faster, it's going to be a very faster console, it's going to, it's I wouldn't say it wouldn't be PlayStation, because PlayStation has a great tech 
technology advancement inside their inside their console than Xbox has. Xbox has the same stuff, but they have a more of a protection area compared to the PlayStation. Because it's all like stacked into one. Like the GPU, the CPU, all those two all stacked together trying to run on this big tower console. And then you have the fan on the top. And you see this green little thing on the, on the top of the console. But I think it'll run fine. I just don't get it why people think it's going to fail because it's going to have an overheat issue. I doubt that because the Xbox Series X is going to be a very powerful console. Yes, it's going to get hot. It is going to get hot because it's just how it is. I always touch my Xbox One on the top. And it, it does get hot, but it cools quicker. It produces all the heat out. And I have a really good room to produce all this heat. And I do have an, uh, an AC, so if I get an Xbox Series X, I'm not going to have a problem. I'm, I'll never have a problem. So, why is it for me just to ditch Xbox Series X just for a PlayStation 5? I just don't, I just don't get it. I just think because uh, people want to go for PlayStation because of the exclusive deals and games that the PlayStation 5 is going to have. But the Xbox Series X... They're just going to have every game that you want, and you get Game Pass, and you get EA games, and everything that you want. It's just where, Xbox is just the place where you can discover games, but you don't get off of PlayStation, because PlayStation, you have to buy it. Xbox Series X, if you have a description, like a Game Pass or an EA, you can get that for free. No extra cost. Even if you buy it on Xbox One, if you move to an Xbox Series X, you're going, you're gonna get that game for free, so what is the point of moving to a PlayStation, because PlayStation is, Xbox is a great place, it's, it's a great place for gamers, but so is PlayStation, PlayStation is the same place too, but Xbox is probably the best place where you want to discover games. PlayStation is a great place for gamers and technology. I don't know how I would explain PlayStation because I don't have a PlayStation. I have an Xbox, so I can just only tell it in my opinion. But I think it's going to be great. I think these consoles are going to look great and be competitive. But I really think this is just a lie with the Xbox Series X heat issues. I hardly doubt that. I just think it's a debunk. Now I really hardly believe it since I watched a lot of videos on it and kind of make my opinion on this. So I hope you all agree with me on this in the comments. Uh, if you did agree with me, be sure to give it a like. If you disagree with me, put a thumbs down. But uh, I think you pretty much guys agree with me that this is a lie. I really think it is. I, I do. I do hardly believe it. I, I think it is a lie. So, uh, that's all I could say. Um, I'm gonna do definitely get an Xbox Series X. I hardly changed my mind with the PS5 and stuff. But I think, I think the Xbox Series X is gonna be a great console. And it actually will fit just fine in my room. I wouldn't have an issue because of the heat. It's just it's just how it's going to be. It's just how it's built. Engineers work on those consoles so hard that they make them great. So, it's just going to happen. Even if you get an S2, it's going to be the same thing. Xbox Series X is going to be the same thing. But, yeah. If you do enjoy these Xbox content as well and other content that I make on this YouTube channel, be sure to give it a subscribe if you do enjoy it, and hopefully you want me to see more Xbox content that I get from daily basis from YouTube videos and articles that I like to share in my own opinion, just to share to you as the viewers and the subscribers. 
just to show you this. But, yeah, that's going to do it. No other gamer anyway, it's signing off. You guys have a good rest of your day. Take care.